Hey, what's going on guys? Let's do this problem right here. The first question is asking, suppose that you wish to construct a simple AC generator with an output of 12 volts maximum. When rotated at 60 hertz, a magnetic field 0.05 tesla is available. If the area of the rotating coil is 100 cm square, how many turns are needed? Now, to find this one, we can use this equation that is EMF maximum is equivalent to NAB omega, right? So here the question is asking for the how many turns. So N is the value we are looking for. So we, if we rearrange this equation, this is going to be EMF maximum over AB omega, right? AB omega. So here EMF maximum that is provided right here, 12 volts and then area is in centimeter now to convert this one into meter we have to, we know that one centimeter is equal to 10 to the power of minus 2 so if it's centimeter square we have to multiply by 10 to the power of minus 4 and magnetic field is provided omega we don't have that omega is uh, it should be radians per second right we don't have it but omega is equal to 2 phi a here we have the frequency so we can use this one to calculate omega so let's go ahead and plug the values in this equation now let's create the new equation instead of omega I'm going to put 2 phi f so this is going to be emf maximum over a b 2 phi f right now let's plug the values So here we are going to have EMF maximum that is 12 volts over area that is 100 centimeter square so 100 times 10 to the power of minus 4 liter square times B that is magnetic field that is 0 0.05 Tesla times 2 phi times the frequency that is 60 hertz. And if you calculate these values, you should get 64 turns. So that's going to be the final answer. Now let's look at the second problem. This, this question is asking, as shown in the figure, a wire and a 10 ohm resistor are used to form a circuit in the shape of a square 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter. A uniform but non-steady magnetic field is directed into the plane of the circuit. The magnitude of the magnetic field is decreased from 1.5 Tesla to 0.5 Tesla in a time interval of 63 milliseconds. Find the average induced current and its direction through the resistor. So direction through this resistor. Now let's see how we can figure it out. So first let's find the current. So if we want to find the current, we have the resistance and we know that V is equal to IR. So that same goes to EMF, EMF is equal to IR. Now if we want to find the current, I is equal to EMF over R. Now we have the resistance, but we don't have the EMF. But we can calculate the EMF using this equation, E is equal to minus d magnetic flux over dt but we don't have the magnetic flux too right but magnetic flux is equivalent to a times b area times magnetic field so if we plug this equation right here this is going to be minus d so minus uh, a d b right minus a d b over dt now we don't want this minus sign to get rid of this minus sign what we can do is so we know that always the delta b is going to be final minus initial but if we subtract initial minus final we can get rid of this negative sign right so db is equivalent to so here instead of subtracting 0 0.5 minus 1.5 i subtract 1.5 minus 0 0.5 so 1.5 minus 0 0.5 that's going to be 1 
so that's going to eliminate this negative sign now we can plug 1 instead of db and dt is provided that is 63 millisecond Sixty three milliseconds, sixty three times ten to the power of minus three second, right? And the area is twenty times twenty. So if you want to convert that one into a meter, this is going to be zero point two times zero point two. That's going to be equal to zero point zero four meter square. Now we have all the values. Now we can plug it. Now area is zero point zero four, and dB is this value one. Since we subtracted initial minus final, we don't have to put the negative sign. And dt is 63 times 10 to the power of minus 3. And if you calculate this value, you should get 0 0.635 volts. Now we have the EMF. Now we can go ahead and plug in this equation to find the current. So EMF is 0 0.635 volts and resistance is 10 ohm and that's going to give you 0 0.00 actually 0 0.0635 this is uh, ampere right ampere and that's equivalent to 63.5 milliampere now we have to decide the current's direction now now what's going to happen is if the external field is decreasing into the page right they have mentioned that it's, it's going into the page and it's decreasing 1.5 to 0 0.5 so it's decreasing so then by lens law what's going to happen is the induced current opposes the, the change so it produces a field into the page and we know that if the uh, magnetic field is into the page this should go in the clockwise right so if it goes clockwise, then it passes, it goes through B to A. So this passes the resistance from B to A. So the direction is going to be B to A. So that's how it's going to be. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.